Welcome to week two of the DB Sport and Scale Quarter Scale SE5A build. This video is a slight show with a voiceover of some pictures I took while building it. Day eight. The rigging tag in the lower center section was bolted to the fastening and flexed upward so it will stick out of the plywood covering. Here the covering is on, on the underside. This sticks out from the fuselage and needs to be fairly well done. As the tailplane is printed beside the center section on the plans, I decided to do that next. I took a long time to find all the parts marked 300 something and there were a lot of them. And after a long and pleasant time, the 3D puzzle of the tailplane is sort of mostly together. The parts for the elevators wait until next time. Day 9. Before I start on the elevators, I inserted the fastenings for the tailplane wires. These are tubes that take M3 bolts that hold the rigging wires. I also inserted the beginning of the windows used to check if the pulleys with a steering loop are on them uh, and, and OK. This is extremely obvious on the top of the tailplane and the wings and cannot be omitted, not even for a stand well off scale model. Before the elevators are constructed, it's a good idea to carve a channel in the leading edge for the steering tackle. The steering cannot be completely scale as the horns would be in the middle of the elevators and the tailplane is too thin for a servo. So I decided to put in the system that came with the kit and uh, maybe put in dummy control horns and wires. And so the elevators can finally be constructed. And here we have the completed tailplane and elevators formed and sanded. I put some filler in the holes that are inevitable in this kind of construction and will send them down in the morning. Day 10. The tailplane is ready, sanded and smooth. Now it's, it just needs the fabric covering. Next is the tail fin and rudder. They are completely double, that is, every part is cut in two from two mil, uh, five millimeter balsa and laminated. A little thick, but strong. Here we have the fin, rudder and ventral fins all ready. This needs to harden some and then I can sand them to shape tomorrow. So onto the wings. I started with the right top wing. I nailed the leading edge to the building board and then spaced the two lower spars and trailing edge using one of the ribs. These get weighted down. <clears throat> there are various assemblies that need to be made and they are all handed and you have to be careful to make one right and one left of everything. Then I glued down the first two ribs. They are placed where the wing struts come, so there are many sub-assemblies to be placed there that hold the struts and rigging in place. Day 11. The upper right-hand wing comes together easily. Everything fits beautifully and it's easy to glue together. And here is the nearly completed wing. Some items have yet to be done, wingtip for instance, and these will be done when all the four wings have been completed to this stage. I got myself a pilot to sit in the office. He came from Aces of Iron and looks very typically British. I started by spraying a matte black undercoat and then I will take my time painting him. Day 12. All the parts for the lower right hand wing assembled. It took a good two or 
two good hours to glue these parts together. I noticed when I looked at this photo that I forgot to put in the tip braces. Day 13. And so we begin on the left hand wings. Here we have the upper one coming together. Someone said build a better mouse trap and the world will beat a path to your door. But these are not mouse traps. They are the locking mechanism that will hold the wings on while flying. I've been making these during the past few days because I shall have to glue them into the roots of the wings before long. Day 14. The worst thing about building biplanes is four wings all nearly the same. I'm getting quite quick at building these now and here are all the parts needed for the fourth and last wing lower left. And here all the parts have been glued together according to the instructions. Now I have various small jobs to do to finish all the wings, mostly gluing very thin plywood to them and then sanding everything.